Are you tired of bad reception ruining your favorite talk radio? Are you sick of lugging that big stereo around just to hear your favorite call-in show? Does it burn when you urinate? If you answered yes to those first two questions, then you've purchased the right Knowledge is What You Know with Nate Grady Instructional Video. If you answered yes to that third one, I'd go get it checked out. And now, your host, Nate Grady. Hi, I'm Nate Grady. Are you ready to ditch the old transistor radio, enter the new exciting arena of podcasts, and step into the 2000s? What's that? Sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. Uh, That was a little better, but still. Jesus Christ, you don't have to yell, I'm right here. Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to download, load, and listen to the new millennium's answer to talk radio. The podcast. But wait, what the hell is a podcast? Sounds like something an alien would wear if he broke his arm. (laughs) It isn't. Let's back up a minute. You remember that little rectangle that sort of looks like a phone, but no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to complete a call? Well, stop dialing, friend, and start dialing in. Because that little machine is called an iPod. But wait! What the hell is an iPod? Sounds like some sort of science fiction novel written by Isaac Asimov about peapods taking over the world instead of robots. Whoa, keep your shorts on, pal. I was getting to it. Now, think of it like... Think it... Think of it like a Walkman, but don't try to shove an audio cassette in there because it won't fit. Trust me, I've tried. No, think of it like a computerized Walkman. You can put files on it. No, not that kind of file. A computer file. No tapes, no CDs, no records, no hassle. Put all sorts of files on there, like songs and albums and, yes, podcasts. But wait. What the hell? I'm getting to it. God. A podcast is a digital media file, usually video or audio, like a radio show or a TV show, made available for download via the internet, which is a series of tubes that are filled with magic that serve as a conduit of information. But wait, what the hell is the information superhighway? I mean, it sounds like a big road covered in encyclopedias. I didn't actually say anything about the information superhighway. Oh. For our purposes, let's just say that a podcast is like a radio show. Except without the radio. Now to download one of these podcasts, you're going to need a computer. You know, the uh, email machine. Uh, the porn machine? Okay, so here's what you do. Sit down on your desktop computer. Open up the program called iTunes. iTunes? Sounds like a series of animated shows about sight organs. iTunes is a program on your computer that plays digital media files. Now, to download a podcast to your computer, you must first make sure that the iTunes store icon in the left-hand pane of your window is highlighted. Store? Whoa, 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 hold the phone. I just dropped three easy payments of $19.99 plus $7 shipping and handling to the address on my screen. I certainly can't afford to buy anything else. Don't worry about it. You won't actually have to purchase anything at the iTunes store. Most podcasts are absolutely free. Now, the iTunes store should load automatically when you start the program. As the iTunes Store loads, the display will read, Accessing iTunes Store. A couple seconds later, the real fun starts. Click inside the search field located in the upper right-hand corner of the window. Now you can search for any kind of podcast by title, topic, host, guests. The sky's the limit! But wait, if the sky's the limit, what about space travel? Now you're starting to piss me off. Anyway. Let's say I want to find a show about, say, mustaches. I would type in mustache podcast. When the results come into the bottom pane, you should click on the column heading that says price, so it will sort the results by price. That way the free ones are at the top of the list. 
You may now double click on the selection to hear a sample of it, or click on the icon in the main pane to find out more information about it. If you like what you see and or hear, you can hit the subscribe button in either pane. iTunes? iTunes? More like, I don't know what that is, Tunes. iTunes will ask you if you're sure. Now, I can't tell you if you are or if you aren't. There's only one person who can tell you that. That's you. Now, if you decide that you are sure, indicate as such by clicking yes. The selected podcast will begin downloading to your iTunes. To monitor the download, click on the downloads icon in the left pane of your iTunes window. When it's finished, you'll be able to click on the podcast icon in that same pane and see the file. So, how do you get this file onto your iPod? Plug the small end of this white USB sync connector cable into your computer's USB port. Plug the big end into the bottom of your iPod. Now it's time to play the waiting game while your iTunes connects to your iPod. It's a great time to have a spot of tea, shoot some hoops, or just take a nap. When your iPod is at last displayed in your iTunes window, you're almost home. Highlight the podcast that you want to put onto your iPod, or pod as the kids call it, and drag it over to your iPod icon in the left pane of the window. All that's left to do is eject your iPod from your computer and disconnect the cable. And impressionism so sounds like the leopard can't stand in the kitchen. What? Sorry, I've, uh, I've lost a lot of blood. And now you're ready to enjoy your podcast. Just click it, kick back, and let the listening and learning begin. Speaking of learning, I hope that today you've learned everything you ever wanted to know about downloading podcasts and putting them on your iPod. And maybe even some stuff that you never even knew you never wanted to know. Whenever you want to know something about something, think of me, Nate Grady. I just might be able to tell you something about something. And as always, remember, knowledge is what you know. This has been How to Download a Podcast with Nate Grady, part of the Knowledge is What You Know instructional series. No rights reserved.